Let's talk about some of the things that make trading challenging in the current uh, international trading or global trading environment. Tariffs and other trade restrictions are part of the country's legal structure, but they may be established or removed for political reasons. An import tariff is a tax levied by a nation on goods imported into the country. Fixed tariffs are when a specific amount of money is levied on each unit of a product brought into the country. An ad valorem tariff is based upon the value of the item. Countries sometimes levy tariffs for political reasons, as when they impose sanctions against other countries in order to cause a particular political event to occur. Critics of protective tariffs argue that, that their use inhibits free trade and it, and it reduces competition. Supporters of protective tariffs say they insulate domestic industries, particularly new ones, against well-established foreign competitors. Exchange controls are regulations that restrict the amount of currency that can be brought bought or sold. Some countries control foreign trade by forcing foreign exchange exchanges through the central bank. Some countries control their foreign trade by forcing business people to buy and sell foreign products through a central bank. When foreign currency is in short supply, as it is in many less developed countries, the government uses foreign currency to purchase necessities and capital goods and produces other products locally, thus limiting the need for foreign imports. Economic changes have spurred companies to bring their manufacturing operations from outside of the country back into the United States. For example, the rise of the middle class in China has spurred employees to demand higher wages and better jobs this resulting in higher costs for companies whose motivation was to take their manufacturing offshores to decrease expenses. Wages going up means they're saving less by offshoring to China. Additionally, Americans are wanting manufacturing jobs to come back to America out of a desire for more and better paying American jobs, and that creates a consumer demand for American-made products. Other legal barriers to trade are quotas, embargoes, and dumping practices. A quota is a restriction on the number of units of a particular product that can be imported into a country. Quotas may be established by a voluntary agreement or by a governmental degree. An embargo prohibits trade of a particular product. Embargoes are generally directed at specific goods or countries and may be established for political, economic, health, or religious reasons. One common reason for setting quotas or tariffs is to prohibit dumping. This is a, profit, uh, this is a technique that occurs when a country or business sells products, actually sells them for less than what it costs to produce them. This is done on an effort to either take or maintain market share as currency fluctuations change change the pricing dynamics. For example, a company may dump its products for several different reasons. Dumping permits, permits a quick entry into a market, that is to take market share by offering extremely low prices. Sometimes dumping occurs when a domestic market for a firm's product is too small to support an efficient level of production. So you do some dumping into foreign markets to continue production at a higher level. In other cases, technologically obsolete products that are no longer saleable in the country of origin are dumped overseas. Dumping is relatively difficult to prove, but even the suspicion of dumping can lead to the imposition of quotas and tariffs. The image on this, sol this slide displays solar panels. A European complaint has alleged that China is dumping solar panels and urges, urges the EU to implement import tariffs. China denies any such activity. In the next chapter, or in the next lecture, we'll go a little bit more deeply into some of the barriers for tra to trade and how they impact the international or the global marketplace.